Hey, give me just one second. Hang on. So, do you guys have a spark? And does your spark have lights like mine does? What does the red light up front mean? What does the blinking green in the back mean? I don't know. Let's check it out together and figure it out. All right, hang on. I'll be right back, hang on. Well, thanks for sticking around, guys. Today, we are talking all about the Spark and its LED indicators. Don't pay any mind to this one right here. This one was uh, maybe a little bit of a crash and uh, we're still waiting on a replacement for that one. So don't worry about it. LED still works. Spark still works perfectly. We just don't have the lens on it. Okay, so first off, you may ask yourself, why are these red and why are these green? The red lights always indicate the front of the aircraft. So you have your sensor and your camera up here, and you've got your red indicator lights up here. Now, the two in the back, these are our status indicator LEDs back here. These ones will be changing to different colors. There's red, yellow, and green, and solid versus a slow flash, which you see right here, versus a double slow flash, versus a quick flash. When you first turn on your spark, it's going to go through a power on self test, a post. And while it does that, these status indicators are going to rotate through different colors. So you might have saw it flash really quick through multiple colors. It went red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, really quick. And that's just its boot up process. So now you'll see that they are a flashing, a slow flashing green. So it's not a bop, 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 bop. That's a fast. And there's only one at a time. It's just doing a bop, bop. When we have the slow flashing, this means that it is in GPS mode. It has enough GPS satellites to be able to do use the GPS positioning system for its location. So this is a good state. We want to see this when we boot up. Now the reason it's green when I first booted it up is because I already had my remote control on. So you'll see that my remote control has a green indicator light right here by my finger that's moving. And that means that I'm connected from my remote control to my spark here. If I turn this off, and now it's off, my remote control is off, my phone's still on, but my remote control is still off, you'll see that the status indicator lights are now a flashing yellow. This is because it is expecting to be connected to a remote control. So I will go ahead and turn my remote control back on, and it, once it connects, it will then go back to the single slow flashing green. One of these statuses I'm not going to be able to demonstrate for you today is a alternating yellow and green light. This is a warming up indicator. While the light is flashing yellow and green, it will not be able to fly at that point. And this is allowing the spark to warm up its internal IMU, which is really the brains of it that allows it to, to take all the different sensors and combine all that together. And we have a video about the IMU here but that has to come up to the temperature that it was calibrated at before you're able to fly. So our status indicators will show a yellow and green. Now once we put it up in the air, we will start getting two slow flashing greens. And what that is telling me is that using its vision sensing system. So under here we have a single camera as well as two 3D sensors and the vision system depends upon these to be able to also help the spark understand where it is. So these are downward sensors, that, that's what helps it understand how far it is uh, above things and, and various different items like that. I have not found that it will do this while it is not flying. Now the first status that we're gonna talk about that you really need to have some caution about is when these are doing a slow flashing yellow. Now slow flashing yellow means that it's actually in ADDI mode, which is it doesn't have the GPS satellites and the vision sensors aren't able to track anything. When it is in ADDI mode, you need to be super careful with the aircraft because it will not keep its position by itself. It doesn't know where it is. It will try and keep its altitude where it's at, but it won't keep its position in, in any of these directions because it doesn't know where it is on Earth, doesn't have the GPS satellites, and it doesn't know where it is in relation to, to the ground or moving around. So that's one of the things these 3D sensors and the vision sensor tracks is it tracks what's below it and, and it can see when it's moving around and so it helps keep it stable. When it goes into ADDI mode, this is 
when a lot of people have flyaways. So when it is in natty mode and you see these flashing yellow, you probably want to get it to the ground as quick as possible. And if you're on the ground already, you probably don't want to go up in the air. If you see the sensors doing a flashing green fast while you're up in the air, that means that the vision sensors have triggered something and it is worried that it is going to run into something and it is hitting the brakes. So it is trying to avoid a crash for you at that point. Now, if you see your sensors go from a green to a red and yellow flashing back and forth, this is a compass calibration issue. In this case, we have a big chunk of metal right next to it causing this. And this means that the compass is not able to register what direction it's facing. So if you are on the ground, you will need to move to a, lo a different location away from a metal structure or if you have metal objects on your person, you need to get the spark away from there before you even attempt to fly. You do not want to attempt to fly when you have a compass calibration issue. If you are up in the air and you get that flashing red and yellow, I would suggest you want to get away from wherever you are currently at and want to think about probably getting it down on the ground. It probably means you're near a metal structure like a windmill, some sort of a tower, a telephone pole, a building with some metal in it, building with a metal roof perhaps, and you want to get away from that structure and get back to your green status so that you can fly with safety. If you can't get away from that and it is staying with that red and yellow status, you want to get it down on the ground as quickly as you can. Now the last few statuses you want to be concerned about whether you're up in the air or on the ground are when these are flashing or a solid red. You see this flashing as a slow red, that means that your battery is starting to get low and it has hit whatever threshold you have hit in the DJI. I go for application to start warning you about battery being low. By default, that's 30%. Now, if you've changed that to something lower than that, it will change from the green to the slow flashing red when it hits whatever threshold that is that you've set. Now, it will start going to a fast red flashing when it is at about 10%. At that point, the spark will be doing an automatic landing. It will start going down immediately. It will not do a return to home at that point. It is down below 10% and it's saying, I need to get out of the air now and I need to land. And so if you wanna keep it up in the air to get it towards you any, any further, you need to do the left stick up to keep its uh, altitude up. Otherwise, you need to get it back to you ASAP or get it to a safe place to land immediately because it is running out now. And if it goes a solid red here, but well, that's some sort of a critical error. You need to look at the DJI Go app to get an idea on the screen of what is going on. A lot of times that could be an IMU calibration, it could be a gimbal's overloaded, it could be an overheated, it could be many different things, but a solid red is a no-go. If that happens while you're in the air, you better try and get it to a safe place to land as soon as possible because you don't want it to fall out of the sky. And if you're on the ground, it's not even gonna let you take off anyways. So you need to investigate what is causing that. Okay guys, well that is using the remote control to fly and the normal status indicators that you'll see when flying your Spark, again with a remote control, not using gestures. So if you're using the Jedi gestures to control your Spark and it's using the facial recognition or you, you, you're doing the quick shots or those different acti- So if you're using gesture mode to control your Spark or you're using the quick shots or other various special features, then the, the status indicators will be a bit different. Different. We'll try and cover those on another video, but for today that covers the regular status indicators for the Spark. Hope that was useful for you guys. If we missed something or you have questions or comments, love to hear from you below in the comments. Uh, if you enjoy the content we're putting out here, uh, we've got a lot of other videos for you to watch. We're gonna, we got a lot of ideas for more videos to be putting out here in the near future. Uh, we'd love to have you on board, so think about subscribing and uh, hope to see you on another video soon. Have a great day, and if you're not, make it.